Hello there and welcome back to TOS Today or Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. All right, this is by request. I was asked to uh, take a look and give some advice or give my thoughts on two operating systems and which would be more stable, either CentOS or OpenSUSE. Um, I don't have, there's just no way that I can test every single operating system out there. The, the time involved would be astronomical. So I'm going to give you my thoughts, at least, to what I think might work out for you, especially if you are a beginner. Again, I, I apologize. These will not be full install tests for stability. There's just no way I can give you a stability test in one evening or one day. It, it, it really takes at least a couple months running it as a full install to give advice on what is stable or not. But let's move on. CentOS, this is based off of Red Hat and this uses RPM packages. Uh, this here, based on what I read, it's, well, it says each version, uh, each CentOS version is maintained for up, to, for up to 10 years, and that's really good. That's one of the best long-term support cycles I have seen in any Linux-based operating system. In fact, it says here, this results in a secure, low maintenance, reliable, predictable Linux environment. That's awesome. But I remember reading a, uh, seeing a review of this, and I believe that the installer, at least back then, was not necessarily designed for beginners. So you may want to make note of that if you are new to the world of Linux and want to install this. If you are not new to the world of Linux, based on what I read, this should be stable. But again, I have not tested this personally. I have tested in the past OpenSUSE, and I really, really liked it. Uh, I think for beginners, this might be the one of choice for beginners. Is this going to be more stable than CentOS? Not necessarily so, but for beginners you may want to pick this one. And I believe this one here is the non-rolling release version. That's the one I have picked. Uh, as far as rolling releases, I don't recommend it. Recommend them generally for beginners. Uh, the last rolling release I tried and tested for four months was Manjaro Linux and it didn't work out for me. The bugs just got to me in the end, so I uninstalled it. If, if you are looking uh, for a stable rolling release alternative that's Linux based or based off of Linux, I would check out PC Linux OS. There are different versions of PC Linux or different desktop environments for PC Linux OS. Check below in the show notes. I'll have some links of interests uh, based on what I have tested in the past and stuff you know that is relevant to my channel here. But as far as um, CentOS and Hope and Seuss, if you are a beginner, I would probably choose this. Does not necessarily mean this is more stable than CentOS. If you are looking for long, long-term support uh, stability. This one is the way to go, but again, I don't believe this is necessarily designed for beginners. All right, so whoever asked that question, I hope it helps. Again, it's it's not a it's not an install test, and I hope this gives you at least a guide, uh, somewhat, or my thoughts on which one to pick. Uh, my current OS of choice right now, as you see here, is Ubuntu 16.04. My and my other one is the Ubuntu Mate. I also enjoy using Linux Mint, but check my links below in the show notes. I'll have some other uh, links, uh, some advice for you. Well, that's all I have for this one. Thank you for the request. Feel free to post your questions and requests. If you haven't already, vote for the September 2016 YouTuber of the month. For all you Mac users or wannabe Mac users, ask your Mac questions. I hope to do a Mac Talk 3 sometime in the future. Just post your questions below and I'll keep track of the questions. Uh, that's all I have for this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you haven't already subscribed and support this Total OS Today channel, as always, enjoy your technology and please don't text and drive.